Yeah, welcome back again. Um, in today's video, we will be talking about inequalities as we did in our early discussions. But now we want to see fractional forms of what inequalities, when inequalities are given in the form of fractions, is kind of um, very challenging. That is getting the right way to solve that because we have ideas of getting LCM for fractions and multiplying through, we have all those algebraic manipulations, but when we come to inequalities, I bet you it differs. So let's see how we do that. So fractional forms of inequalities, taking an example here, say example one, have two over x minus one, greater than one over x plus two. Please don't just go ahead and finding the LCM for these two denominators and trying to multiply each side of the inequality sign by that LCM. You actually get a wrong solution for that. Okay, so this is what we do. The first step is to make sure all the expressions are kept at the left hand side of the word inequality sign so we do that by getting our 2 over x minus 1 this whole expression here is a positive so it comes to subtract okay then greater than 0 so with this we can actually find our values for x so from here we can now do our normal fraction thing finding our LCM and multiplying through. So our LCM comes x minus 1 by x plus 2. This one goes into the LCM x plus 2 times. So you are going to have 2 by x plus 2 here minus this goes there x minus 1 times by 1. We still have x minus 1. Don't forget the bracket because of the negative sign here. All greater than zero. Okay. Now we can also expand the numerator, which gives us x plus five all over x minus one x plus two all greater than zero so at this point we have to take certain things into consideration here that is taking the zeros of each number in the bracket so taking the zeros of the first bracket that the new data we have x equals negative 5. The second bracket, we have x equals 1. And the third bracket, we are going to have x equals negative 2. Now, the reason why we are taking the zeros is that when we take the zero here, meaning when this expression becomes zero, the whole portion here is undefined. When this also turns to zero, the whole thing here is undefined. And when the numerator also turns to zero, anything divided by zero is actually zero. It can't be greater than zero. So we want all the expressions that to make this inequality what a success or satisfy the um, inequality here. We take the zeros of this because when it's zero. We divide anything by zero, the answer should be zero, not greater than zero. Also, when this expression goes to zero, undefined, also goes to zero, undefined. That's why we find their zeros to make sure that we exempt them from what? The values of x. So, with this, we can now take a number line here. As we have this number line, we place all our three values on it. We have the negative 5 here, we have negative 2 here, we have 1 here. So they actually divide the number line into 1, 2, 3, 4. 
four different parts. So now we have to test each of the range from negative five below, within negative five and negative two, within negative two and positive one and within positive one and above. Which of the intervals satisfy the inequality here? Already we know five, negative five is out, negative two is out, one, two is out, because they will make the whole expression here undefined and not satisfying the entire expression. So now let's test when we pick any number at this side which is less than negative five. Will it fit into this equation? Let's take assuming we are taking negative 10, but negative 10 falls within this range. When I place negative 10 here, I'm going to have a negative 5. Place negative 10 here, I'm going to have negative 11. Negative 10 here, I'm going to have negative 8. So a negative number by a negative number is positive. This becomes a negative. So negative number divided by a positive number is actually negative. But a negative number can never be greater than 0. So this portion is out of the range. Now we come within negative 5 and negative 2. Let's say we have negative 4 in between this range. So we can test that too. When I place negative 4 here, I have a positive value. Negative 4 here, I have a negative value. Negative 4 here, I have a negative value. So negative value by negative value is positive. Positive value divided by positive value is always what? Greater than zero, okay? So meaning this whole interval will satisfy what? The equation. So I mark it down. I can do this interval. I have negative two to one. Zero can be found within this interval. So I want to use zero to test for the satisfiability of this expression here. When this tends to zero, I have a positive value here. 10 to zero, a negative value. 10 to zero, a positive value. Now a negative value by a positive value is negative value. A positive value divided by a negative value is a negative what? Answer. And a negative number can never be what? Greater than zero. So this part of the graph do not satisfy what? The inequality here. So let's move to the fourth portion that's greater than one. Let's say positive 10 is greater than 1. When I place positive 10 here, I have a positive number. When I place 10 here, I have a positive number, a positive number. So all positive numbers divided by positive numbers is odd, actually greater than 0. So this also satisfies what the inequality. So now I can write my two sets as x being what? greater than negative 5, less than negative 2, in addition to x greater than positive 1, and what? Going to positive infinity. So this one means greater than 1 in between negative 5 and negative 2. So this becomes our what? Solution set. You can also write it in your normal form if you like. You are going to have x greater than negative 5, less than negative 2, or x greater than 4. So any one of these is actually the solution set. Okay, let's take one other example so that we can master this concept very well. So given example 2, we have the inequality 1 over x minus 1 less or equal to 1 over x plus 2. So the first thing we do is to keep all expression at the left hand side. If 
how do we so that we can simplify further? Okay, so to simplify further, we have to find our LCM, which gives us x minus 1 by x plus 2. Uh, doing our simplification here, we are going to get x plus 2 minus x minus 1 less or equal to 0. Okay, so we have to further simplify the numerator and this gives us 3 over x minus 1 by x plus 2 less or equal to 0. Okay, so like we did for the first example, we have to draw a line to actually find um, the aspects of the expression which will make it undefined. When this tends to zero, the whole expression is undefined. Also tends to zero, everything is undefined because you can never divide by what? Zero. So our zero here will be x equals one and x equals negative 2. So we place them on the graph negative 2 and 1. So this actually divides the line into what? Three portions. Okay, three portions. Here, there, and there. So we test for each of the interval to find out whether they satisfy the equation and the inequality or not. Okay, so starting from the first interval, we know negative 2 and 1 within the part but they make the expression what undefined. So when we pick any number which is less than negative 2, falling within this range, let's take a um, negative 5. When we place a negative 5 here, we are going to get a negative value. Negative 5 here, we also get a negative value. Negative value by a negative value is what? Positive. Positive number divided by positive number should be greater than or equal to what? Zero. Okay? But here is the case we have it being less than zero. So this portion is in part. Now let's take the second portion and find out. We can pick zero, but zero forms falls within this interval. I place zero here. I have a negative number. Place zero here. I have a negative number here, but place zero here is positive. A negative by a positive number gives you a negative fourth value. A positive value divided by a negative value is actually a negative value. And all negative values are less than what? Zero. Okay? So this part of the line satisfies the inequality. Also, let's pick any number that is greater than one for any part of the third portion. As we we have um, two. When I place 3 here, I have a positive 1. I place 3 here, I have a positive 4. They are all a positive numbers. So when I divide a positive number by a positive number, it should be what? Greater than 0. But because of the less than sign, these parts also do not form a what? Solution set. So our final set becomes values of x, which are within the interval of negative 2 and positive 1. Okay, or you can choose to write it in your normal way. That's x, we have the values of x being greater than negative 2 and also less than what positive 1. So these are the values that satisfy the inequality that we have here. Now I hope you keep practicing and you'll be able to solve more other examples of this when you have been given. So hopefully we'll meet in our next video. That's it. Goodbye.